What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to try to be as short winded with this as possible. Um, I didn't really know if I wanted to make a video concerning this or not. Um, I have mixed feelings about the whole thing. It's kind of personal. I wanted to keep my personal life and YouTube life separate, but um, in light of the situation with Melbourne, <coughs> excuse me. In light of the situation with Melbourne and with, you know, some of the other shit flying around, I just wanted to make a vid and get everything on the table and straightened out. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've had kidney disease for the last eight years. Um, in 2003, I had my first kidney transplant. I was lucky enough to have a loving mother who donated her kidney, and that unfortunately only lasted two years before the disease I had came back. It's actually the same disease that Sean Elliott and Alonzo Mourning had. They both had successful kidney transplants and are living, you know, pretty normal, you know, lives. Alonzo actually came back and played after his transplant, which was the same month as my first one. But anyway, that's all aside. Um <coughs> I've been on dialysis since January of 2006 to keep me alive. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, I got to go there three times a week for three and a half hours. They put two needles in my arm and take my blood, filter it, put it back in my body, and uh, you know that's how I've survived. Luckily, uh, my sister has stepped up and decided that she wants to donate a kidney to me. However, been a really tough road because uh, I have a tremendously high level of antibodies from my first transplant and it's based, it's really trying to fight the process. Um, I was scheduled to go in on January 29th and at that time I had just begun doing group breaks with Phil and with Sevens. I told him that I had a family medical emergency. I didn't tell him that it was me that the emergency was for, uh, but it was. In light of all the bullshit that's been going around, I just want to give my opinion. Um, this community has been really helpful to me in, in keeping my head up for the last few months, which has probably been the toughest two, three months of my life. The next two weeks, you know, next Thursday, I'm going to have this second kidney transplant. These next two weeks are going to be very trying times. And I'm going to rely on you guys, you know, watching your vids, watching your maladies, and, and all that stuff, to help me get through it. So, you know, just a little bit of what this means and everything. I know shit got blown out of the wall, you know, and look, I could deal with losing, getting scammed by, you know, some douche, but Case 3223 said it best, today we were just chilling my Def's blog TV, and he said, yeah, but what about the kids, and that's what's fucked up, because there's kids on here, excuse my language, I know I shouldn't be cursing like this, but there's kids on here, and, you know, the fact that somebody could just rob these kids blind, is a disgrace so uh, that's my thoughts on that um, look I'm not asking for sympathy I don't want anything from anybody for this I just want people to understand that you know I'm not going to be around I'm not going to be making as many vids the next week and then after that week after that I probably won't be making any vids after Thursday for a while for a while, meaning three days to a week. You know, depending on what you guys think. If you guys want me to chronicle the uh, journey more, I will. But I don't think you want to be a part of that because it's not fun. But uh, look, uh, thanks for all the support. Um, you know, I'll be around. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'll be here. So if you have any questions, just hit me up and. Uh, 
everyone play it safe, you know, watch out. There's a lot of guys out there trying to take your money. That's why I say every time, if you hear my videos, I say keep it safe. These guys want your money. you got to be careful. Watch who you're with. Be careful who you surround yourself with. I got a bunch of buddies on YouTube who are good, good people. And uh, I can trust them. And I can have faith in them. And, and I consider them friends. You know, if, if they lived down the street from me, I'd go and, and hang out. So, uh, just wanted to give you my perspective. I know it's a little skewed from the rest of the world. I don't have a, a mediocre job. I don't have a job at all. I haven't had the opportunity to get a job because I've been sick since I was 20 years old. Um, so that's it, guys. You know, uh, those of you who believe in prayers and all that, you know, I appreciate all the prayers that people are, are doing for me, and, you know, I appreciate everybody's well wishes, you know, I didn't want everyone to, uh, kind of overwhelm, I wasn't, sh I was shocked that everyone found out, but it's okay, you know, I'm not trying to hide anything, I was not trying to hide anything at all, I just didn't want to bring it up it's not part of sports cards collecting you know we talk about sports cards not our illnesses not our problems sevens doesn't come on here and talk about his his problems and you know phil doesn't talk about his problems i don't want to burden you with mine but uh that's the story so i'll see everyone around seven seven salute